Hi guys, welcome to our section about the number property. In this video, we're going to learn the number line, how to add and subtract numbers, how to multiply positive and negative signs. Let's start. The number line. The number line shows you that the numbers left to the zero are negative and the numbers raised to the zero are positive. Also, these signs means negative infinitive and this means positive infinity. As you can see here, the number line goes from positive infinitive numbers, negative infinitive, infinitive numbers, and then you have in the middle the number zero. All right, the closer the negative number is to zero, the greater its value. Also, the farther the negative value is from zero, the smaller the value. For example, is negative two greater than negative one? You tell me, which one is closer to zero? Well, here I can clearly see that negative 2 is farther away than negative 1. Therefore, is negative 2 greater than negative 1? I hope you tell me no. Negative 2 is not greater than negative 1. Let's do another one. Is negative 0 0.5 greater than negative 1? I'm going to wait for your answer. Remember, negative 0 0.5 is around here. And negative 1 is right here. So you tell me which one is closer to the zero. Now that you know which one is closer to the zero, you can tell me that negative 0 0.5 is actually greater than negative one. Your turn. Is negative 245 greater, greater than negative 300? I'm gonna let you think about it and you tell me your answer. I hope you say yes. Negative 245 is greater than negative 300. Now, let's do one a little bit more challenge. Negative 0 0.345 is greater than negative 0 0.5. Is that true or is that false? I'm gonna wait for your answer, and I hope you say yes. Negative point, uh, negative, neg oh my God, I cannot say this number. <laughs> negative 0 0.345 is greater than negative 0 0.5. Now, let's talk about adding and subtracting numbers. These are the rules. Same signs you're going to add, different signs you're going to subtract. The bigger number, I'm going to call it the bullet and we're going to use its sign. All right, let's do it. Negative 4 minus 7. First of all, you ask yourself, do they have the same sign? And the answer is yes, therefore I need to go ahead and add. The bullet is 7 because it's the bigger number. Therefore, my result is going to be negative because remember, I'm keeping the bullet sign. So how much is negative 4 minus 7? I hope you told me negative 11. Remember, equal signs are going to add, different signs I'm going to subtract. Negative 25 plus 8, do they have the same sign? The answer is no. I need to subtract. Now, you ask yourself, who's the bully or who's the greater number? Well, in this case, it's going to be 25. Therefore, my answer is going to be negative. And negative 25 plus 8 is going to be equals to negative 17. Let's do another one. 13 minus 5. Well, clearly here you can see that you have different signs. So I need to subtract. The bull is going to be 13. Therefore, my result is going to be positive because 13 minus 5 is equals to 8. You tell me. 10 plus 5. Well, as you can see here, I have equal signs. So I'm going to go ahead and just add. Then obviously here the bully is 10. So my answer is going to be 15. That's how easy it is. Love it. Let's practice. Negative 11 plus 4. Do you think you should add or subtract? Think about it. Different signs you're going to subtract. Therefore, my answer is going to be negative 7. Because the bully here is 11. What about here? I hope you tell me that you need to subtract. And your bully is 9. Therefore, negative 4 plus, 5, plus 9 is equal to 5. Negative 11 minus 4. Let's remember, I need to add. Also, the bully is negative 11. Negative 12 plus 8. You tell me your answer. And I hope you say negative 4. Now, when you multiply or when you divide, the rules are a little bit different when it comes to the signs. Let's see what that means. Negative times negative means positive. Positive times positive is positive. Negative times positive is actually a negative. For example, a negative 3 
times 5 is going to give me negative 15. Negative 3 times negative 5 is going to give me a positive 15. Positive and positive is going to give me a positive. This is very important because a lot of the students do not make a difference between the signs when they multiply or when they divide. You will apply this for the rest of your life. And I'm not kidding with you. <laughs> so let's do more. Let's say we have this expression. The first thing I need to do is to go ahead and distribute the negative 3. Now, negative times positive is going to give me a negative, And negative times positive again is going to give me a negative. So what do I get? Negative 3 times x is equal to negative 3x. Negative 3 times positive 5 is going to give me negative 15. That's how easy this is. Let's do more. Remember, when you're dividing, you're going to apply the same rules. You have a negative on the top and a positive. So negative times positive is actually a negative. Positive and negative, again, is also a negative. Many students ask me if this, let's say negative 6 divided by 2, is the same as 6 divided by negative 2. And the answer is yes. This is the same. Usually, we always put the sign on the top. So it's very important that you understand that. Because when you have some problems, and let's say that they give you two negatives, like in this case, then this will become a positive number. Now, let's go ahead and do it, and it's going to be your turn. You tell me, how much is negative 5 times 4 plus x? Remember, and I'm going to wait for your answer. And we get negative 5 times 4 is equal to negative 20. Negative 5 times x is equal to negative 5x. Now, what about if I'm dividing negative 36 over 6? I hope you say negative 6. Finally, negative 36 divided by negative 6 is actually 6. Negative 5 divided by negative 1 is actually 5. And that will be all. Again, thank you so much. I hope to see you next time. And thanks for learning.